Hello everyone! Welcome back to Free Flow Friday. We are here in New York. When you're tuning in, let us know where you're tuning in from. We love getting to see how global this community is. So today we are talking all about bones, skeletal stru structure. As we move through the art of Jinshin, we are on osteoporosis. So you can see here this image. And yeah, that lady is Edith, and she's actually an actual client. She's in her 90s, and she's just a wonderful, bright person. And so I chose her for this, for this uh, label because osteoporosis often comes with age, even though sometimes with younger people as well, right? Yeah, and really osteoporosis is when your bones get weaker. The actual term means porous bones. So that's how people can oftentimes break their bones really easily. Um, they may like their posture changes. And so we want to share some holds that you can do, whether it's osteoporosis or just, I think generally for humans to have strong bones is so important, you know, so we were able to, to keep on in life and keep our posture upright and have enough calcium. So it can also be broken bones when you mm -hmm. break a bone to help heal it quicker. So bones and skeletal has to do with depth five. So the quick hold would be to hold your little finger. So let's just start with that, just holding our little finger. And um, yes, there was one year where I broke my little toe every year in the summer. Oh, and no. so it has to do something definitely with skeletal because summertime, is depth five and also bones so mm. i was if you look at the emotional attitude it's trying too hard and sometimes mm. we all get into this state of trying really hard i don't mm -hmm. know if you ever do like trying too hard and efforting no never. I, I never do that <laughs> you never know <laughs> yeah course. so we we all have these these drivers in us these emotional drivers and the trying to you know when we're trying to get a project done or when we're trying to achieve something in life then we're almost running ahead of ourselves and that is related to our bones and so mm -hmm. if you have a tendency to break bones then you know take a look at what's going on into your life as well so again with the art of jinshin we're looking on so many different levels we're looking at um, our, our physical body, we're looking at our emotional attitudes, mm -hmm. uh, we're looking at our mind, right. all of these, these different all, levels. All the layers, and um, I think that also ties to our muscle mass, you know, how that also keeps us like strong and, and limber. So. so that is the first flow, thank you, that um, I wanted to present is um, to hold the ball of the foot and we're gonna hold the distal six. So I don't know if you can just, um, you know, while I show it, if you can yeah. just, um, wait, let me see. So you're gonna hold the distal six, which is, um, which is right below that bone. So this is also very good for, for bunions because bunions are these growths here, again, that have, uh, are related to depth five, the bone structure, and to really get into underneath here and you can hold your left hand on the right toe of the foot and then your your um, right hand on the left toe of the foot like here so that's a very comfortable position to hold you can hold it with your thumbs again you can use your fingertips or the palm or your thumbs but in this case I really like to put my thumbs in here so as we're working on bones this is also very helpful for uh, bunions and you know i've worked with people who have bunions and this one lady and actually i'm wondering how she is doing um, um let me know how you are if you are watching <laughs> uh, she was gonna have a bunion surgery and so we just worked with this six and a half it's called six Oops. and a half and she never had to have the surgery so it's very very dynamic for bunions and bone structures also for osteoporosis and um, just building bones building the bone structure and then you can change your hand around so have left on left and right on right 
So one side, one helps the front of the body and one helps the back of the body. So you can see what feels better for you. That's what you're gonna need, whatever feels more comfortable for you. And remember, it's an art, the energy will find its way. So yeah, you can come back in. I miss you in here, Lola. <laughs> I'm here. Yeah, so in the meanwhile, just also, yeah. Let me check Lola's six and a half. Six and a half. Six and a, yeah, six is here on the sole of the foot and then six and a half is right up against the bone. It's a mm. little tender, right? Is it a little tender in there? Or not too much? Uh, it doesn't feel too Okay, too good. Tender. All right, all right. So that's the first hold that you can do, six and a half. And then the next hold that you can do is holding the SELs eight, which also help uh, for bone structure between muscles and bones. We know that the aids also help with the muscles. And so this is really the energy that's gonna help both the muscles and the bones. And where is SEL8? SEL8 is, is right here. So I'll make it so you can get a good look. Again, for self-help, it's very easy to hold it with your thumb, mm. comfortable. But of course, you can also use your fingertips in there. And again, you can hold, um, right on right and left on left eight. And then you can also cross your hands. So I'm just still gonna... So it'd be hold. like this. Yeah, yeah, or you can hold it like this. Co yeah. Coming in from the other side may be easier, Lola, coming in from underneath, yeah. Yeah, so yes, yeah, so yeah. comfortable, it's comfortable, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, I think most people will be uh, able to reach it. Hi, Ellen. El, how are you? I miss you. Yeah, <laughs> again, wherever you tune in from, you can say hello, your location. I miss everybody. I miss seeing and hugging um, everybody. Send stars. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the eights, they also help with a hip imbalance and... Just reading some of my notes here. If one shoulder is up higher, you can go to the opposite eight. Mm. Yes, and check that out. If your right 11 is tight, check the left eight and see if that works for you. Of course, it can also be on the same side because it depends if we're dealing with the energy mm. that moves on the one side or mm -hmm. if we're dealing with the mediator that moves it from right to left and left to right. So be your own artist be the artist and explore your own body so the eight is going to help many different things so as you're helping the bones and the muscle you're also helping your chest mm -hmm. your breathing um, you're helping um, any kind of muscle projects as well so this is really between muscle and bone again and um, this also helps the bone marrow Mm. So again, you can go in the middle, more in the middle of the, of the back of the leg, or you can go a little bit more lateral, depending on you. Now, so let's cross our hands now and see what that feels like. So this should be pretty comfortable to do mm -hmm. on yourself, to practice this on yourself. And then the hold that I have for in the art of Jinshin is holding the middle of the um the collarbones like right the, the collarbones are here mm -hmm. and then in the center we have the v of the neck and this is part of the main center source it's step number three mm. and people see it in reverse right yeah so for the main center source you place yeah. your right hand on top so of the head look like that yes you place your right hand and then the left hand moves down okay all right so this one is very important. If you have the label of osteoporosis, then you will find tightness or fullness in here in this V of the neck. And the V of the neck helps with calcium absorption. Hmm. So the thing is, if it's not clear, then the body cannot absorb the calcium. So even if you take calcium, um, it, you know, it can, the body cannot absorb it. So most importantly, the label of osteoporosis is open up this area here and if you have it you will find some tenderness in the right side or on the left side so check it out so you can just hold this by itself or you can do it uh, as part of the main center source first step the second step and then mm. the third step and then you want to move it right along 
the main center mm. source, allowing yeah. for the energy to descend. Of course, you can also check the 22s, because if this is on the main center line, and then this is on the side on the supervisor line. So if this is congested, you'll probably find congestion too. And then again, observe if, if it's more on your right side or on your left side. We know that the right side has to do more with our lifestyle and mm -hmm. environment and our doing side, what we do today. And then the left side has to do more with older and genetic project as well as all older trauma. So again, mm. studying yourself, getting to know uh, and help yourself. So check check them out. You can go more lateral or go more closer into the center. Yeah. 22, SEL 22. Yeah. I like this. You like it? Mm -hmm. Helps the exhale, helps the unloading. And then the last hold I wanted to share with you uh, for bones, which is um, also on the level of depth five and we have done this one before for a different reason. So it's gonna help many different things at once. And that yes, is, yes, to help bones, we can place um, our mm. fingertips on the middle of the elbow and then place our other hand on 11.3. And that also helps the building of and strengthening of the bones. And we know this flow, we've used it for harmonizing and strengthening the immune system as well. So you see yeah. how flow patterns overlap. And when you hold one thing, you're helping it on many, you're helping projects on many different levels and strengthening. So right. that's one of the... You can't go abilities. wrong. You can't go wrong. Yeah, that really is the beauty of the art of Jin Shin. So multifaceted and just... Eastern medicine in general, seeing the body as a whole and complete system and not just going straight to the symptom and like trying to solve just that one thing. Mm -hmm. So you can practice all of these holds or you can choose one that you really like and speaks to you. Um, they're all going to help uh, the bones and the skeletal on different levels. So again, it is really which one works for you and on different days it can also be different holds you may need yeah. one flow one day and then you're going to know that by tuning into your own body and feeling which feels most comfortable for you yeah so, that enjoy. reminds me of um the discussion we had with nithya shanti on clubhouse and by the way thank you all for hi adam from queens <laughs> yes please tell us where you're tuning in from um, on Wednesday, we had a clubhouse with Nithya, and we were talking about intuition, and Alexis was going through different holds to help strengthen our intuition, but I feel like that's a huge part of it, too, is just, like, with the art of Jinshin, not getting too mental and heady about it, and just really tuning into what does my body need, like, what feels right, and, like, letting that guide you rather than trying to like mentally solve it so very important yeah just get your hands moving yeah absolutely hmm yeah Wonderful. i think that's great yeah, that's perfect well thank you for sharing those holds with us um I'm just I, gonna hold the other side i just want to remind everyone that we share you know i get emails all the time like when's your next promotion on this or how do I find out about that and if you're not already you can subscribe to our newsletter and you can do that by going to our website um, that's the best way for us to communicate you know different things like whether it's clubhouse or different promotions or things now we're offering on our platform which by the way, we are now, we now have our curriculum to become a certified foundational practitioner and that is live. So you can go to our website, go to the, go to shop and go scroll down to courses. And that's really perfect for people if you're diving into the art of Jinshin and you really want to take it to the next level and become a certified practitioner. And we will be sharing more about this in a newsletter next week. So again, that's why it's important to sign up. 
and yeah, it will just be like complete. You'll have everything you need. You can go at it at your own pace. Cause that's another thing people say, how long will this take me? Um, you know, it's really like whatever speed you want to take it, like moving through the course material, the books, mm -hmm. and, and then the practice. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> very important to practice. Get absolutely. your hands on as many people as yeah. you can. Yeah, and you can start that right now with these holds. Grab a loved one and hold them. Yeah, like, hold their hold love, it. You know? <laughs> Yeah, because that's how you learn and you begin to. Mm. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Alexis is feeling something. And even Alexis mentioned that also during the clubhouse. How when she sees clients, she gets a sense right away of like what going on with them and then she listens to their pulses and then it confirms it and so obviously that's come with years decades of practice but you can really start tuning into that right away just just the more you do it mm -hmm. um, so yeah we want to continue spreading this art sharing it the world, yeah, tender. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Alexis is always like, oh, that's tender. Lola needs this. So yeah thank you all for watching again stay tuned next week um, and for the practitioners to be if you practice on someone of course um, we use the universal energy to harmonize so as you're applying the art to the to someone else you will get to benefit as well right that's one of the beauties right. it's double whammy yeah it's not like you're efforting you know going back to the trying to you're not like putting your energy and into someone and then you leave the session feeling depleted, like, no, you're really like the channel for it to come through, which is why it's such a beautiful art. So thank you all for tuning in. We will be back next Friday, again, going through the symptoms, the art gentian. This will also be live on our YouTube. So feel free to share this on Facebook or YouTube with anyone who you think could benefit. And we'll see you all next week. Bye.